It is time for the AEW Super Wednesday Debate 2020. Oh, man. A verbal debate. Yes. First of all, I'm 100% convinced that whatever the record is for most pyro at a verbal debate, it was broken. <laughs> there was so much fireworks for this thing. The guest commentator, as had been rumored, was in fact Eric Bischoff. Tony Schiavone, maybe it's just me, but I heard terror in his voice as Eric Bischoff emerged for the first time on TNT television in legitimately 20 years. I can tell you wasn't the only one. Yeah. So Eric explains they have collected five questions put together through the various AEW social media platforms. The questions have been chosen at random, which sounds like a terrible idea. I hope that's not actually what they did. Neither Mr. Jericho nor Mr. Cassidy have seen these questions. They bring out Orange, and it's Orange Cassidy as you always see him. They bring out Jericho as this super fancy-ass black suit. He has Jake Hager there, who also has a fancy suit, who's carrying the soiled $7,000 jacket, which, as Jericho notes, somehow seems to get more orange every week. <laughs> Jericho coming out quickly but politely shaking Bischoff's hand and moving on. That moment was greatly, greatly, greatly undersold by the announcers. But the debate begins. First question. As Eric reads it just like this, why does Chris Jericho and Orange Cassidy hate each other so much? So the gimmick, of course, is for most of these questions, Jericho does all the talking and Orange, being Orange Cassidy, has nothing to say. So Jericho makes fun of Orange's jacket and his, the, the, the shabby way he is dressed for this debate. So Orange puts on a clip-on tie on his t-shirt. And Jericho says, that's what I hate about you. You're a joke. Everyone thinks you're a joke. Critics do. Historians do. And so do I. You're just a ginger jackass who plays pocket pool on a weekly basis. And I am finished with my statement. Orange has turned to rebut. He has nothing to say. Next question is, who is the better wrestler and who is the biggest star, Chris Jericho or Orange Cassidy? <laughs> who is the bigger star? Hello? Jer Jericho's reaction was exactly like yours. Like, who could have asked the stupider question than that one? That would have said, it'd be hard to top that for stupider. So Jericho lists all his... Is that even a word? What? Stupider? It is now. I made it a word. There's no better word to describe this question than stupider. Me making up a word... Like, stupider is less stupid than asking who's the bigger star, Chris Jericho or Orange Cassidy. So Jericho laughs it off, much like you do, much like you have done. And he talks about all his credentials and championships he's won all over the world. The only title you've ever had, Orange Cassidy, is biggest slacker in your high school yearbook. And if I had gone to high school with you, I'd have kicked your ass, given you a wedgie, and taken your girl. You're a nerd! It's actually what he said. You're a nerd. I'm standing here in a $10,000 suit. You're in a denim jacket that smells like old salami, jacquard noir, and batteries. Holy smokes, I just realized Orange Cassidy has 115.7 thousand followers. I have 115.1 thousand followers. Yep, he is a bigger star than you. He is a mildly bigger star than, than me, but in no universe... No. In no universe is he a bigger star than Chris Jericho. Who asked that question? It was not revealed. This sounds like something from Granny's Facebook. It actually does. <laughs> Is that where these questions came from? I hadn't thought of that, but that would totally make sense. So Jericho finishes burying Orange Cassidy. He turns to him and says, You make me sick, Eric. <laughs> it's just the most awesome, subtle thing that Jericho did there. I like we got another Drakkar reference. They're never not funny, are they? No. The third question. Global sea levels have been rising over the past century. What are your thoughts on this very serious global situation? Jericho says this is irrelevant and starts to demand a new question, but Orange has something to say. And Orange... First he makes a sound. I guess there's a throat clearing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I think if an actual Orange tried to speak, it would sound like this. So Orange then makes a, 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 a pro-environmental statement about how sea levels are rising. They're causing danger to coastal communities, including eight of the world's 10 largest cities. 
He goes on for like a minute about the, the, the dangers of rising ocean levels. And then it says, thank you. And he puts the mic down. The wrestlers in the crowd lost their shit at this answer. His delivery. And I thought this was so clever because they're trying to attract the young millennial audience. And the first question Orange bothers to answer is about the dangers of yes. rising sea levels and global warming. I was like, these fucking people are brilliant. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's more important things going on than a jacket. The fourth question. Why is Orange Cassidy so popular? And then again, as you noted, these people are brilliant. Jericho says he's popular because he's a, the epitome of everything wrong with wrestling today. He's like every smart mark in this arena and watching at home. He's a pimple on the ass of pro wrestling, but next week I'm going to pop you, and you'll have to give me $7,000 for a new jacket. Lazy, entitled, overbearing. Yes. I'm You're not sure I would say that Orange Cassidy is overbearing. That well, one I might disagree with. Jericho is... He, 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 it was the, the people that Orange represents are overbearing. I see. Well, that's true. So the people who Orange represents are the people who... Because it's uh, his 2020, and they've got a college degree and hundreds of thousand dollars in debt. The only job they can get is at the mall serving juice. <laughs> Those are the people that Orange Cassidy represents. And Jericho says, "You'll be back at the mall serving Jamba Juice. Make me my blueberry smoothie with extra protein and pumpkin seeds, and I won't leave you a tip." <laughs> and every person in retail says, "I am cheering for Orange Cassidy now." Fifth question. Why does this rematch mean so much to both of you? And I've said this since the moment I laid eyes on Aaron Cassidy for the first time. This dude is one of the smartest people I have ever seen in pro wrestling. Because he can cut a... He, he's a hell of a wrestler, obviously. But he gets way more out of it by doing very, very little almost all the time. He got a very, 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 very good promo on Jericho here, but it meant so much more because I had never heard him, or barely heard him speak in the past year. When Jericho starts to talk and Orange takes the mic and just says, Chris, shut up. And even Jericho's flabbergasted because Orange never speaks. And Orange cuts his promo. You schedule a debate against a guy that doesn't talk. Pretty smart, trying to embarrass me, but I'm not embarrassed because I don't care. I care about next week. I care about that match. It's the biggest match of my life. And it's the biggest match of your life too, Chris. Because can you imagine what if Chris Jericho, the champion, what if he loses to the guy that puts his hands in his pockets? He removes his Ray-Bans and says, look into my eyes. Look at the man that's going to embarrass you. Look at the man that is going to beat you. He puts his glasses back on. Jericho's taken aback. Orange has finally spoke. The crowd's going crazy. And then Eric Bischoff says, well, it's, as the moderator, I have come to the decision that the winner of the debate is Orange Cassidy. Mr. Cassidy. <laughs> Excuse me. Mr. Cassidy, yes. Jericho is outraged. How could that be? And Eric says, I'm sorry. That global warming thing got me. <laughs> Jericho loses his mind. I haven't liked you for 22 years, Bischoff. Eric says, it's been 24. I know exactly how you feel about me. So Jericho vows to beat Orange Cassidy next week and says, in fact, I'm going to beat you right now. Get him, Jake. <laughs> like awesome. a good, like a good proper heel. He sends his heavy in. So Jake so side swipes Orange. They double team, team and they beat him up. They lay him out with the Judas, Judas effect. He's left icy, icy glaze unconscious on the mat. Bischoff makes his exit. Eric Bischoff was awesome on the show. He I was great know. in this role. Uh, if, if they want to have Eric Bischoff back for one annual debate, that's fine with me. This was a one and done, but yeah. things can always happen in the future. Things can always happen. And uh, Jericho was awesome. Hager was awesome in what he was asked to do. Bischoff was awesome. Orange Cassidy was ungodly awesome here. This segment was Amazing. This is the best debate I've ever seen in wrestling. That's probably true. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me, Vinny? Has there ever been another good debate ever? I doubt it. I mean, I we make fun it. of these fucking things. It's like, next week, a verbal debate. Yes. And it's always some shitty debate, and they say some shit, and they get in a fight, and it sucks. This was... You know what I like about this, too, is they used to do this back before Vince lost his mind, but, you know, it's an election year. So, yep. like, that's their theme leading mm -hmm. into the election. Well, we're going to have a debate, and... 
you know, all this other stuff. There was something else he did on the show that was some sort of MJF. MJF, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, they're just, you know, there's a real world out there, everybody. AEW exists on fucking planet Earth. Yes. In this universe, in this solar system, in this fucking city. So, like, you're watching, you're a normal person, you're watching a bunch of other, you know, maybe they're superstars, but they're people living on the planet in an election year. So, anyway, I thought it was great. By far the best verbal debate ever. Probably a low bar, but... Well, it was established that, well, yes. Well, put it this way. I figured it's Chris Jericho and it's Orange Cassidy and, you know, Bischoff. Bischoff, in a position of power, is a disaster, but as a TV character, yes. he's, he's always done a good job. I, I thought this was going to be good, but it was like 10 times better than I expected. Yeah. So I think the match next week is going to be gigantic. Yep. I mean, I can't wait. 900,000 people this week and the stuff they're building up for next week. I'm not going to sit here and say I think they're going to break a million. But I will say if they did break a million, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. They've done a hell of a job building up this show.